What are some strategies you can use to retain your plant managers? Hi, I'm Kirk Langford, General Manager here at Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems USA. And today we want to talk a little bit about how you can retain your plant engineers. There's a myth out there that engineers are generally willing to work on any project regardless of the purpose. You just give them the project, you give them the work, they'll get it done and they move on to the next thing. Doesn't really matter what you give them, they just work through it. The reality is that that's not true. Engineers are more likely to be engaged and productive when they're working on projects that have clear goals and a sense of purpose that they can get on board with. According to a study, in fact, by the Society for Human Resources Management, the SHRM, employees who find their work meaningful are more than three times as likely to stay with their organization. What that tells us is that employees are truly looking for work that is meaningful and in which they understand the purpose and goal of it. So, what are some things you can do to help retain your plant engineers in your manufacturing setting and in your organization? First, ensure that your plant engineers always understand the value and purpose of the work they're doing. How it impacts the bottom line, if you can communicate that, is even better. No one likes to be told, just do the work and don't ask questions about it. I think sometimes as leaders, we give that line because we think we don't want them to stress, we just want them to stay focused on what they're doing, but what that really tells them is, you may have other great ideas, you may have great suggestions, and you may even have some ideas that can help us, but we don't want to hear those. So instead of saying, just do the work and don't ask questions, take the time to actually help them understand the overall value and the bigger picture and the goal of the work that you're asking them to do. You're gonna find that there's better buy-in every time you ask them to work on a project and they're gonna feel a greater sense of purpose. Tip number two, allow the team to ask questions about the work that you're asking them to do so that they fully understand what it is that they're being asked and why they're doing it. We sometimes think when we deliver a message that we've thought of all the things that they might ask about or we thought of all of the pieces that are important, but it's always nice to turn around and say, what questions do you have for me? And to answer as many of those as we can. That creates a clear picture in their mind of the work that we're asking them to do. Tip number three, in projects where you may not have all the answers, acknowledge it. Often as a leader, we think it's our job to have the answer to every question, be able to decide every decision there is to be, and solve every problem. But the reality is we're not always able to do that. We just simply don't have all the answers sometimes. And on our team, the best thing we can do is acknowledge that. Give the information that we can, answer the questions that we're able to, but at the end of the day, acknowledge that we may not have all the answers. And say to the team, hey, that's a great question. I'm gonna have to get back to you on an answer because I don't exactly have one right now. That's way better than coming up with something just to sound like we know what we're talking about or giving them information that might be misleading. So be transparent and acknowledge when we don't have all the answers. And that's usually quite, uh, quite well received by the team and they appreciate that. Now, once you've used those three tips or strategies to get you started, you're gonna wanna keep working on your plant managers and your plant engineer soft skills and that's where we come in. Whether it's in person, on site, specifically for your organization, whether it's virtual through our virtual training studio, whether it's through one of our public workshops, which we have both in person and online, or whether it's through our frontline leadership on demand course where your leaders can learn at their own pace when it's convenient for them, we have solutions to help improve your frontline leaders, plant managers, and plant engineers' uh, soft skills. We look forward to hearing from you.